Hey, hey, hey guys, it's the Keto King here, and today we're going to be making some Keto Gnocchi. Now the best thing about this Keto Gnocchi is it only has two ingredients. Yep, that's it, just two. You'll need some eggs and some mozzarella cheese. That's it. Let's get right to it. As always, I highly recommend using a food scale. Uh, it just helps with the accuracy of ingredients. Grab yourself a container and use your mozzarella cheese. Now you need to get the part skim and low moisture mozzarella. Otherwise this recipe will not work. You're going to add 200 grams of that mozzarella cheese into the container. And then add in one teaspoon of onion powder which is roughly two and a half grams into that container. You're then going to crack three egg yolks uh, into a container. Splitting the egg yolks is really easy. Just crack it in half and then put the yolk from one side to the other side of the cracked egg and uh, the yolk will separate from the whites. Next grab your mozzarella cheese and the onion powder and put that in the microwave until it is melted. You'll see it will end up with the consistency looking like this. Then grab your egg yolks and you're going to slowly fold in your egg yolks into that cheese. I'll just simply put the egg yolk in the middle and as you'll see just fold the cheese over the egg yolk. Do that for the second egg yolk and the, sec and the third one until it's completely mixed. And you'll have this wonderful dough-like batter. Then you're going to split that into four roughly equal portions Yes, this stuff is really sticky as you can see. Once divided into these four portions, um, you'll see the cheese cools down, the texture starts hardening up slightly. Pop that on a baking tray lined with parchment paper. And now what you want to do is flatten these into four long strips. It might take a little bit of time for you to get the desired shape, but just go ahead <clears throat> and make four long rolls. Right, just neaten up the edges of those rolls, and then you're going to cut them into your gnocchi shapes. I think uh, roughly around a half to one inch size is perfect but you can really do any size you want. Once you've cut them up you're going to add them into a pan of boiling water with which you put a little bit of salt in and then boil until the keto gnocchi floats to the top of the water. It really should only take a few minutes and that's all that's needed. As soon as it's at the top grab a colander and pour out your keto gnocchi into the colander Next grab yourself a pan, put a really generous helping of butter in that pan and then add your keto gnocchi to the pan. Now I recommend doing this one by one just because it helps when you're separating the, the gnocchi apart from each other, um, making sure they don't stick and ensuring that each piece gets a wonderful golden brown color to it. After a few minutes you can see it's getting that fantastic golden brown color. Make sure you flip every piece over and do the same for the other side. After another minute or two, they should be ready. Simply take those out of the pan. And it should look a little something like this. Now add some salt to taste and you can absolutely eat these like this but what I recommend is making yourself your own little homemade sauce. I just use Philadelphia, bit of tomato paste, bacon and some olives. Put that in a pan, added the keto gnocchi to it and you end up with this absolutely wonderful creamy keto gnocchi like this. As you'll see here, 
This gnocchi is beautifully soft and tender inside and it is wonderfully rich so you really don't need a lot to fill up your stomach. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video please hit that thumbs up button below it really helps the channel. Subscribe to my channel so you do not miss on any new videos I upload. Let me know in the comment section how you enjoyed this keto gnocchi and of course keep it keto.